this topic is actually one that hit me pretty hard. I know I mentioned it in um, the page just now. Um, ever since I missed hitting Success Club in August, I've kind of been in, like, a personal downfall. You know, I it really, really got me. I was upset. You know, I, I was on track to hitting um, Success Club for, like, I think 11 months. It was almost a year, and it mm. derailed me completely. And yeah. I, I felt like my momentum, and, you know, I, I sat down with myself, and I said, I can't let this happen. I can't do this to my team. You know, I, I'm better than this. And, um... I kind of said, like, what can I do to get myself going again? So I got out there. I've been talking to a few people. And, you know, I hit Success Club last month, which is great. But now it's like my team has lost their momentum. And I'm constantly posting in my team page, like, what can I do to help you? You know, there's trainings coming up. Let's go to Super Saturday together and stuff like that. And they're mostly coming up with their own personal excuses, saying, um, you know, one of my girls is getting married in a month, so I understand those types of stresses. So I'm just going to get her into her wedding and then get her back going. Um, another one's going through some person, personal issues with her husband. He's sick. He has to have, like, surgeries done, this and that. Uh, the other one just doesn't really want it as much as she thought she did, I guess. I don't know. But um, I've kind of been in this funk where it's like, how can I help them if they don't really want this right now themselves? So that that's where I'm at. I just feel like that momentum that we used to have has just stopped altogether. But I'm hoping that um, I believe there's one, two, three, like three or four of us that are going to Super Saturday next weekend. And I'm hoping that that kind of builds it back up, you know, because for me, it's exciting. I, you know, my first one I was so excited about and, um, you know, I, I left that Super Saturday feeling, like, awesome. So I'm hoping that that gets them going and that they can re-engage. But it, it's been tough for me lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I think that's, you know, that's a perfect illustration of what the chapter is talking about. You know, when, when you do, as a leader, when you do slow down and kind of lose that momentum, um, you know, they had talked about, like, when, you know, somebody who's a great manager – on an awesome motivated team goes to another team. A lot of the time they were just kind of lackluster um, because it was the momentum of that team that was driving them to be, you know, be a better employee, a better manager. Um, and yeah, I think as a leader when, you know, I've definitely had it happen to me too, where you slow down and everybody else loses momentum and getting that momentum back is, is really, really difficult. But, you know, I think as a leader, you just have to, you know, you have to start doing what you know you need to do. You have to, you know, be out there inviting. You have to be running your challenge groups, hitting success club again, like doing all of the activities, finding new coaches, you know, maybe, maybe it's that the coaches that you have are just not, you know, they have these things going on in their life and, you know, you can get out there and find find new coaches who, who have that drive and do, you know, do want to want to make things happen right now. Um, so it's really, it's up to you to kind of regain that momentum and show everybody, get everybody on the team excited again. And yeah, I mean, super right. Saturday. Yeah. 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 Super Saturday is great. I need to send out some personal messages to all of the local people and just see who's coming or who isn't, isn't aware it's going on um, and that kind of stuff to try to get some people out, um, out and active. But yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I think that's kind of a perfect illustration of the chapter is that as a leader, you can't let that slow down in momentum defeat you and you just need to, um, to get back going. And, and once you have it, you know, I, I know Christy Curtis has used the analogy a lot and I've heard a lot of other people use it too, where it's like pumping water from a well. And at first you're, you know, you're going to pump really, really hard and not much water is going to come out. But as that water starts to flow, you don't have to pump as much. It's going to get easier and easier. So, um, you know, it's, it's something that I've really been working on. I've been, I've set it as my goal to 
complete the entire BAT every single day this month um, and, you know, really stick with it and kind of show my coaches that, like, this is what you need to be doing and lead, lead by example and just hopefully this momentum will, you know, keep building and we'll keep going. But, yeah, it's, it's really a struggle sometimes when you lose it, but all you can do is get back out there, I think, and, and really keep – keep going and just show them what they need to be doing and try to get them excited again. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully it gets, it gets you know, gets back up in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Steph. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> Success, hopefully. <laughs> With that. One of them's down, so. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> So it's a help. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Do you have, did you have anything from the chapter? Yeah, you know what, I, this is what I've been struggling with, you know, um, and I've said it before, ever since we finished that diamond push group, my momentum just started going down. I had so much momentum right when I stopped, when I went on maternity leave, I was, mm -hmm. You know, I pushed really hard. I went to Ruby, to Diamond, and then all of a sudden, I just came to a complete halt. Like I, and, I, and I've been having a hard time getting back from that. And it's true that it's definitely impacted my team um, because those that, you know, were a little bit interested, you know, maybe they're not doing anything now and just getting the discount again. So it's just, it's frustrating because I know that I can somewhat control that if, you know, if I'm pushing, if I'm, you know, doing it. But I just, I'm having a hard time starting again, which is, you know, if they say once you're in it, you know, you're in it, but it's that getting, you know, the push yeah. back that I'm having a hard time with. Getting yeah, I, I definitely understand that. Yeah. And I think, you know, if at least what helps for me is if I can just pick like one or two things that I'm like, okay, I'm going to get these done no matter what and kind of get back into that rhythm of it. Um, and then once, you know, once you're, you have those couple of things that you're doing, then start to add more on. But yeah, it, you know, going from like a standstill to then trying to do like everything can be really overwhelming. Um, you know, and I, like, I, I had a really slow, just unmotivated weekend. I just couldn't get anything done. So trying to slowly ramp up this week and get caught up on stuff. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it definitely once you once you slow down and kind of lose that, it can be hard to to get back going again. But I think, you know, you just have to stick with it because it will it will pick up. Yeah, I mean I'm still pushing, I'm still doing, you know, what I've been doing, but it's just yeah. getting everybody else, you know, getting everyone else motivated and together is just falling a falling apart. And I mean Courtney's seen, you know my team page is dead. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> comments on anything. It's basically me and Courtney having a conversation. You know, it's, nobody's really involved. Yeah. It's yeah. not like you're not trying or I'm not trying. It's just that these people just, I don't know. They say they want it, but they're not doing it. <laughs> yeah. And I think, I think really the key is just to, you know, with that is to number one, keep posting and then to get out there and find new coaches. Mine's very similar in that, you know, it's mostly Tova and I posting, but then, um, you know, somebody chimes in every now and again. Um, so, you know, that, that at least is helpful. But I, I remember even with like the team at Astra page, cause Brienne started that like it was like right when I had signed on and it was, it was dead for like probably like a year. Um, I mean, even Steph, when you first came on that, that page was really slow and it, yeah, it was a lot of just like Brienne kind of talking <laughs> and, posting, and it wasn't a lot of other people like in there saying anything, but you know, even as you add stuff, like I think my team page has like, you know, we have like, 40 coaches or something in there and it's still like yeah kind of a <laughs> kind of me and Tova dominating but I think again yeah if, you know just keep going and and eventually it will click with people that they can use that as a resource and then help to you know as you start to get more leaders on the team too then they're going to want to 
be in there, you know, adding some to the dialogue, hopefully. <laughs> Who is somebody else just jumped on on the phone? Who is that? Is that Leah, maybe? Yeah. Okay. I can't really hear. Um, it, yeah, did you guys have anything else that you had taken away from the chapter? Or any kind of like game plan? Do you, it, was there something that kind of, uh, you know, you were like, oh, maybe, you know, from the reading that I'm going to start implementing this um, or really trying to stick with, with this to try to get the momentum going? I mean, like in the example that they gave, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, that teacher, he kind of started out really slow. So I guess it's, it's almost scary to say, all right, you know, I just have to jump right in. But if I think about it in smaller pieces, then maybe, you know, it's not as, as scary to, to accomplish, you know, little things first. So I, I guess that's, I have to kind of change how I'm thinking about things. Yeah, definitely. I just feel that I have too many things that I need to get done, like Annie, you were just talking about, and I don't know what to do first. And, like, instead of, like, you know, I'm writing out my to-do list, and I'm not really crossing things off of it because I don't know where to start. And I know I should start at the most, you know, important one, but it's, like, at this point, it's, like, which one is the most important one because they seem to be all important, you know? So that's yeah. where I'm kind of because I have so much that I need to do, and it's like I I don't know like which one do I start with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know for me, yeah, I definitely have that too, and I really struggle with you know. There's certain things that I would rather be doing, and I tend to put off the you know certain things like you know I'm I'm not the strongest recruiter. It's something I really wanted to work on and kind of tried to work on but I do tend to because that intimidates me I tend to put that last so I've started like I said I'm doing my BAT every single day now um like no no questions asked and I've been trying to start with that because like if I get on there and start looking in the team page and start like checking my email and you know like doing training stuff like it yeah it's all over I'll just spend my entire day doing that stuff um whereas and then you know I have days too where stuff comes up with the kids or other stuff's going on with our other business and I I get like you know 30 minutes of work in and just get totally derailed by other things going on in life um so I've really been forcing myself to like when I sit down to get stuff done like the first thing I do is start going down the BAT list. Um, I've been using that power of three one and, you know, just start at the top and go on down and don't skip any sections. Um, and, you know, with the recruiting stuff, I'll often actually put that first because I'm like, this is the one that I'm, you know, it takes me the longest and I'm the most intimidated by. So I'm going to get that out of the way first. And then, you know, the rest of it, I can get done pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I too have like all these, you know, to do lists and checklists and, you know, it, yeah, it can get really overwhelming. So I think, you know, I think if you can try to like find the one thing um, that, you know, that's the most, most critical and you're going to get the most, you know, legs out of, I guess, get the most momentum going um, out of to do that. And kind of like what you were saying stuff, I find too, like, yeah, if I look at, I'm like, okay, my entire downline, I have a lot of coaches and I have coaches who are inactive and, you know, I have coaches who are active, but are really just discount. And yeah, that looking at my entire downline, it can get kind of intimidating of like, where do I even start to like 
get these people motivated like who am I going to work with um because you know they a lot of them need need attention but I think if I you know I've been trying to just kind of take it one coach at a time and touch base with with everybody and see who's ready now and not not try to worry about the rest of them um until they're ready to go Okay. Did anyone have anything else to <laughs> to add? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we can cut it short a little short today, but that's all right. Um, I know we don't have as many people on, so. Um, but yeah, I guess we will do this again next week, same time. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Have a good week, guys. You too. Bye. You too. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>